Taylor's arrows. We have the Speak Now arrow. Next up is Reputation Taylor's version. So at the time of recording, no it's not. Next up is Reputation. This is the stolen version. This is not Taylor's version. And now we get to Taylor's version. I feel very lucky to own this. Hello and welcome to my channel. So today's video is one that people have actually asked for and requested for and it is an updated version of all of my Taylor's for final. So the last time I did this, I think it was maybe February? ish time maybe even february last year actually um whenever it was i think i hadn't even got love alive from paris at that point so i have got many more vinyls since then so i'm going to show you an updated collection of all of them i'm not going to go into too much detail on every single one simply because i've done videos going into detail on them some of them i haven't done videos on that yet so if you want to see them let me know in the comments that'd be super cool and yeah let's go get started so we're going to do this by era so i'm going to go through the eras obviously when i do speak now i'm going to include speak now taylor's version in that era so the taylor's version will be in the era so i want to start this video off by saying that yes i do have some of the stolen versions on vinyl now i started collecting vinyl when red taylor's version came out that was my very first vinyl I did a full video unboxing it I was absolutely terrified and because I didn't want to do it wrong or anything but yeah basically I do have some of the stolen versions but I only bought the stolen version if the Taylor's version had not yet come out but obviously with Fearless and Red the Taylor's version had come out when I started collecting vinyl so I do not own the stolen versions of those but I do own the stolen versions of Debut, 1989, Speak Now and Reputation uh, because obviously the Taylor's version had not come out by the time I had bought those vinyl but uh, if you do want to start a vinyl collection I would recommend if you want the stolen version to get it second hand simply because then you are actively then supporting Taylor's version by not buying it from the retailer that it was sold in um, just because it's already been purchased if you're buying it from a reseller so it doesn't impact it as much basically okay um also just want to say not doing any of this to uh, like brag or anything this collection has obviously been purchased over a number of years two years now and uh, I use my money for it I have a job and stuff so I pay for most of these things myself obviously some of them have been gifts and stuff and I'm very very appreciative of them as well uh, but yeah let's go okay so first up we have debut so this is debut and this is just the normal black pressing of debut so with a lot of the stolen versions they're pretty basic in terms of the vinyl itself once you get to the later versions with Taylor, Taylor's version there's been a lot more effort put into them and I think a lot of that is because when these originally came out these stolen versions so this was what 2006 uh, vinyl weren't really as popular then um, in fact I presume this wasn't pressed on vinyl when it originally came out in 2006 uh, but it might have been I don't know for defo this is a 2008 um, like version of this just for anyone who was curious but yeah so this is debut it's just the normal black pressing there is another pressing of this there is a record store day one that's kind of like a clear-ish one um but yeah these um what i'm showing you all is what everything comes in as well so this is the original version of the stuff it comes in if you are going to get a vinyl these sleeves are actually okay because they do have that kind of protective covering but some of them do come with just paper sleeves if you uh, want to protect your vinyl i would recommend not using these paper sleeves and getting ones from amazon that protect it a bit better but yeah as you can see just the normal black pressing there is this clear record store day version but it goes for quite a lot so i sadly do not own that but there you go so this is debut um really love this i actually got this last year i treated myself to it um and yeah i think it was around 35 pounds um with all the stolen versions they are still being pressed and stuff don't overpay for them but yeah sometimes people do try to resell these for loads and they are still sold in shops and stuff do not really go over face value there's no real point to it um because they're still sold in shops but yeah you go so as of the time of recording this we have got no debut Taylor's version and no reputation Taylor's version and for anyone curious about like the vinyl and what's on it so, uh, so you've got two in here two LPs in here we've got side A Tim McGrath Picture to Burn Teardrops on My Guitar radio single version and A Place in This World side B Cold as You the outside and tied together with a smile then you've got the second LP side C Stay Beautiful Should Have Said No Mary's Song our song radio single version and side d i'm only me when i'm with you invisible a perfectly good heart and teardrops on my guitar pop version so there you go this is the absolutely stunning version of debut but i imagine when we get taylor's version it will be better in terms of the vinyl because they'll put more effort into it basically and then as well as the normal that is just a normal vinyl i also have these gorgeous seven inch thank you so much for dan for getting me these this is honestly so kind these are really really nice there you go these are the official ones as well you can get kind of bootleg vinyl i have seen that some people have got like a bootleg 
beautiful eyes. I personally only collect official vinyl, but I do know that there's bootleg vinyl out there, but these are the official ones. So you've got Taylor Swift, you've got Tim McGraw there. Um, and this includes, this is still sealed. Uh, so side A is Tim McGraw and side B is Tim McGraw, Live Acoustic 2006. There you go. And these are hand numbered as well. So you can, can, you, can you see that there? There you go. So this one is number 575 of 4,000. So this is one of Taylor's more rare vinyl out there. You see, I don't know if it's focusing because if I look, it doesn't focus. There you go. So this is a hand numbered one. And we also have Teardrops on My Guitar as well. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this one includes side A, Teardrops on My Guitar, and side B, Teardrops on My Guitar, Live Acoustic 2007. There you go. So again, really, really gorgeous. These seven inches are really nice. Absolutely love these and they're really cute as well. Um, I also have another seven inch that I'll be showing you later that will be a bit later in the video because it's a further era. But I will talk about it more when we get there. <laughs> debut. That is the era of debut. Next up, Fearless. And now we're in the Fearless era. So with Fearless, I only have the one vinyl because I started collecting vinyl actually after Taylor's version came out. I do not own the original version of this. So I don't own the stolen version, but I have this gorgeous one and it's so beautiful. So this was the first of Taylor's versions to be released. And I think because of that, we didn't really get a lot of photo shoot for this. Most of the pictures, as you can see, are all tour photographs. Um, there you go, there are three LP in this, so it opens a bit weird. Um, that was a beautiful shot of me there. Uh, but yeah, they did still put effort into this. It is kind of like some of the stolen versions where it is kind of just like the lyric booklet, just reformatted and just put on here. But it is still really, really nice. I do like it, but you can definitely tell with the later Taylor's version that they put a lot more effort into it. So let me show you the LP. There are three inside of this and you're only getting them in these paper like white sleeves and it's not even the one with the plastic as well. So these are not as good a quality and if you want to protect your vinyl definitely get ones that have that like kind of plastic film because um, they protect it a bit better. There we go. I will show you this. I think there are three pressings of this out there to the best of my knowledge. There is this one. It is slightly marbled. I don't know if you can tell it's slightly marbled but it is slightly marbled. There is also one that is a slightly different colour, like I think it's more of a brown. And then there is the red Target version. Now in more recent Taylor albums, the Target versions have been nicer colours. So obviously you've got the Tangerine with Nice 89. Now Taylor's version, you've got the Lilac one with Midnight's, you've got the Lavender one. They did kind of nicer versions because I don't think the red vinyl... I don't think the red vinyl really fit with the Fearless era or this album at all. I understand it's kind of Target's exclusive one, they do those red ones quite a lot, but I do like now that they're doing better colours, in my personal opinion. But I only have this one, um, and I, I do like her, but yeah, it's definitely... It's obvious that Taylor didn't think that people would support Taylor's version as much, I think, because not as much effort was put into this in terms of photo shoots. There's only two photos from the photo shoot. There was no music video. Um, this vinyl itself, there was only one, like, proper, proper version of it. Like, with these other ones, there's different variants. Like, we speak now, there's different colour variants. This one, it is just this one variant, but depending on where it's from, there's two slightly different colours. It's the same with Evermore. Um, and then, obviously, the Target version as well. But, yeah, really, really gorgeous. I do like her. I definitely do just kind of wish there was more photos from more updated stuff but I do like the tour photographs as well um so if you're curious the set list of this there are 27 tracks on this album which is so many because obviously you've got the normal version of Fearless you've also then got the platinum version of Fearless and then you've got the vault songs as well and it also includes the love story um Elvira remix as well uh, so there you go that is Fearless Taylor's version on vinyl really gorgeous and I believe I got this from Taylor Swift's online store and I think it was around £50 because this one does go, I think, between like 45 ish to around 55 ish in the UK in terms of like pounds. Um, just because it's got three in, so they tend to be more expensive if they've got three in. Um, and it, yeah, it does open like this, whereas the normal vinyl you would get would just open like that. But yeah, that is Fearless Taylor's version. And that is all I've actually got from Fearless. That's not a sign that I don't like Fearless. I love Fearless. I have multiple copies of Fearless on CD. And with CD, because I collected them like at the time, um, I have like all the versions of that as well. So I have the stolen versions of that. Whereas it's slightly different with vinyl just because um, I started collecting vinyl afterwards. But yeah, that is Fearless for you. And if you're wondering what I put it in, I've just put it in a protective sleeve. Um, there's a bit of my hair there. So I just put it on a protective sleeve. I need, I need to buy more of these. I got them from HMV 
they are 75p each and um, they're usually just at the counter in HMV and it's just good if I'm like displaying them because uh, sometimes when I display them I take the actual LP out so it makes them a bit heavier so they fall back on my wall better but also it protects the exterior of it as well because obviously it is like hard so it can damage quite easily it can damage quite easily but these protect it a little bit but there you go that is the fearless era we have the speak now era so we've got slightly more in terms of speak now so we've got the stolen version and then we've got all three pressings that were available there you go vandal can be quite heavy so first up let me show you the stolen version and i did buy the stolen version before taylor's version came out and now obviously i will only stream taylor's version i will only listen to taylor's version because we support taylor's version maybe i should do a full video on that because some people i think get quite confused about what taylor's version actually is so i'm more than happy if people would like me to explain it because i feel like i can explain it kind of more simple for people who aren't like in the music industry kind of way if anyone would be interested maybe i don't know anyway this is speak now so as you can see they didn't put a lot of effort in with these stolen versions simply because vinyl weren't as popular and then obviously then we were going to get taylor's version but this came out before we knew we were going to get taylor's version this is the same thing as with debut there is a record store day version of this i think it's oh i lied the debut that is like a blue pressing it's a very nice one this is the smoky kind of clear transparent gray one um sorry everybody i'm gonna have to put a little note on debut saying the one i've described that doesn't exist but yeah this is just the normal black pressing unfortunately because record store day ones go for so much so there you go this is the inside of it this is the back there was no deluxe version of speak now released on vinyl unfortunately but again as i said you can get bootleg i personally don't uh, but they do exist so you desperately desperately wanted them but i'm not gonna like encourage it but anyway this one has that kind of film inside so it's slightly better quality than that one that was in fearless taylor's version this is the vinyl itself the inner bit is the same as the speak now stolen version cd and then obviously it's just a normal black pressing of that but it is really nice i do love speak now obviously i did love the speak now um photo shoot the original one and stuff but now we do support Taylor's version. I don't think I've said that in this video. It's only got 14 tracks on this, but you do have um, two LPs inside. They are both just the normal black pressing. Um, that is what I like about the Taylor's versions because you tend to get more colourful pressings. And personally, as someone who likes collecting vinyl, I like a more colourful pressing. But yeah, so the normal 14 tracks, no deluxe ones. And that is just the normal version of Speak Now. And now we get to Taylor's version. For Taylor's version, I decided to treat myself to all three, uh, which is wild because usually I don't do this because they all have the exact same cover. Now, personally, I do wish that the covers were slightly different because I am someone who does variant collect, but I prefer to variant collect when they have different colours. This is the first time I've done it. Uh, sorry, different covers uh, this is the first time i've done it where they've not had different color covers so the covers have been exactly the same um so the only thing differentiating them on the front is this bad boy the hype sticker now what is really interesting about this at least it's interesting to me to someone who's a bit weird is that i bought this from hmv in the uk but as you can see oh i might have bought it but no i didn't i actually bought it from action records but it was also it was the same in hmv so it has a target sticker on so it is in the us it's a target exclusive this lilac version but obviously in the uk we don't have have target um so this was the one that was available in hmv independent record stores and stuff but it still had the target sticker on whereas with the tangerine version it didn't have the target sticker on and with the midnight's lavender edition it didn't have the target sticker on so i do think it's quite interesting that it had the target sticker on maybe i'm just boring maybe uh, but anyway this is what this gorgeous one looks like i really really love this i love speak now taylor's version so how many tracks you've got you've got 22 tracks on this um, and this is the lilac marbled vinyl and there are three LP inside but despite there being three LP it does open like a normal gatefold it doesn't open like a fearless Taylor's version so let me get it out now what I really like about this is it's absolutely gorgeous in terms of these because they have just this nice picture on now this was the third Taylor's version to be released and I think with each Taylor's version more and more effort is put into the photo shoot and the vinyl and stuff so with Fearless we didn't really get a photo shoot we got two photos with Red we got more photos but it was kind of done at the same time as the Evermore photo shoot so it's kind of like reusing them a little bit uh, with speak now we did get specific photos for this and obviously with 969 taylor's version we just got loads of photos 
Anyway, here is the gorgeous lilac version and it is marbled. Now, I really like marble vinyl. I think they can be quite controversial because sometimes you get a really good marble vinyl, but other times you can get ones that aren't so good. Now, I was really lucky with this one. It looks fantastic, but you see them sometimes. They can just be completely blocked colours and then there'll be a teeny tiny marble bit at the bottom. Now, this is an opaque vinyl, so even though it's marbled, if you hold it up to the light, it doesn't really do much. Whereas when we get to midnight, they are more transparent and marbled so you can kind of see the marbling better in the light if that makes any sense but that is the gorgeous lilac version um and this one i've still kind of got in the plastic cover obviously i did un um cut along the edge but because i wanted to keep the sticker intact i have clipped the plastic cover on one of them i did take fully out when i did the video so i will show you that one in terms of showing you the whole vinyl um next up we have the doo -doo 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 -doo. Which one? Orchid. So this is the Orchid one and this is the same thing so I just like uh, when I opened it I opened it along the side. Now all the pictures inside are the same so on all these sleeves for the LP they are all the same um, in terms of like with each one so there are three of them but they're all the same on each if that makes sense whereas it is different with 969. So this is the gorgeous violet version. Really really nice this one. I think the marbling is absolutely stunning. I think the colour of it is just Honestly, with these Speak Now ones, the only thing, the only fault I have um, is that the cover is the same because these are absolutely stunning pressings. Like, I don't own any other vinyl that I quite like these. I think they're just gorgeous, gorgeous colours and I do really like them. Um, it's just that cover. But again, that's just personal preference. Some people won't mind that. I mean, some people don't vary and collect and that makes a lot of sense, to be fair. Like, I only tend to do it on these different covers, but people quite like my vinyl video, so I decided that... I, one, cannot get this back in the sleeve. Um, so, yeah, some people don't vary in collect at all. They just collect one version. And people said that they quite like my vinyl video. So basically what I've decided to do when Taylor now releases vinyl is to buy all the variants. One, because I really want to do that. But also because I want to help people who just want to pick one of them. Because I think if you see a photo on the website, it can look one way. And then when you get it in person, it can look a di completely different way. So I kind of tried to show you the vinyl at different angles and stuff. So you can see, like which one you prefer and I, I do quite like doing that and I like that people have said that it's helped them decide which one to buy that that's quite cool um but yeah that is why I kind of collect all of them now uh, just because people quite like the videos and I quite like making them and that was the orchid one I think I called it the violet one that was the orchid one orchid this is violet I looked at them and I was like do I have two of the same no so there were three versions of this um and the target version was not a red one, it was that lilac one. There you go. But this is the one I fully unwrapped and everything, so I'll show you the complete vinyl of this. So unlike Fearless Taylor's version, it does open with a gatefold. Absolutely stunning here. I love this photo. You've also got the album prologue there as well. Really, really love this. And then the back cover. I think it's gorgeous. I just, yeah, big fan. Big fan. This is one of my favourite photos of Taylor ever. Ever, ever, ever. I think it's really nice. So this is the darkest of all the vinyl, as you can see, but it has still got that marbling. And I just, I do, I do really like the marbling. I know sometimes it's risky, but I do like it. It is really, really good. I just, I love that color so much. This is the darkest of all of the three. And I think it's really gorgeous. Like all three of them are gorgeous. I think my favorite one is probably the lilac target pressing, but I do like all of them, to be honest. So you've got one in that first little bit there. So if anyone's curious, if you don't own vinyl, this is usually what they're like. They're usually a gatefold. Um, and usually they just have the two in, but this one obviously has three because there's 22 songs. Um, this is the one with the bulk tracks on. There you go. So with this one, it's got photos of Taylor on one side and then it's got um, the lyrics of the songs on the other. So this is the next disc. And as you can see, the inner bits are different on each one which I really like. I just, I love that they've put so much effort into these. Um, yeah, big, big fan. So I'll show you that as well. So it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous violet color. I really like it. Um, there we go. And then last but not least, and this is the one with the vault track song. So you've got again, another fantastic photo of Taylor and then the vault track lyrics. And then, yeah, what would be really cool, but I imagine it would just be way too expensive is if they put the different colours in each. So basically, as you know, there's three LP in this, there's also three vinyl. What would be really cool, and I know it would be too expensive, it would be virtually impossible to do, is if you had one of each of the colours inside. I think that would be really nice. I think it would just, 
it wouldn't work in like practice, I do recognise that, but it would be really nice. Obviously with me, I've got all three, I could technically just do that with all three of them, but like I think that would have been a nice release to do. Um, so people could then experience what all three vinyl look like uh, without having to buy all three. But yeah, that would be way too expensive. I do recognise that. But in like a perfect world where vinyl are easy, um, that is what I would do. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like this. I love I love Speak Now Taylor's version. It's it's gorgeous. I think it didn't get the appreciation it deserved. I think because 1989 was announced relatively quickly afterwards. I think it was like a month or so after. So I feel like we didn't get enough time to fully appreciate the Speak Now Taylor's version era. But... I am here appreciating the Speak Now Taylor's version era because it's so beautiful. We've had a quick move around of the vinyl behind me just so we can get onto the next versions because this one was actually put up on my wall and that is because I love the cover of this. Now this was the first vinyl I ever got. So this is Red Taylor's version and I didn't collect vinyl before this. I was like, no, I don't want to collect vinyl. It's an expensive hobby. Um, I have nowhere to store them, all this stuff. I was coming up with so many excuses. And I went to HMV on Red Taylor's version release day. I picked up the CD and I saw the vinyl and I was like, whoa. Because I love this cover so much and I was genuinely just looking at it like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And my dad was like, get it. I was like, I don't even have a record player. Why would I get it? Um, so we walked around town. I had to think about it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. And I did. And the rest is history pretty much because now I collect loads. But anyway, this is one of the most expensive like face value Taylor version one that I got. So when I got this from the shop, I think it was about £50. And that is because there are four LP inside. But this is an absolutely gorgeous one. And I think this is when we had Fearless Taylor's version. We got a little bit of promo and stuff for it. But with this, there was so much promo. Uh, there was a music video. She went on SNL. Like, she did loads with this. And I'm really glad because we love this. And obviously here, we have all too well the 10-minute version lyrics. And then this gorgeous photo of Taylor at the Red Tour. Now, the Red Tour was the first time I saw Taylor on a proper tour. I saw her at the Summertime Bowl for the first time in 2013. And then I saw her for her first, like, just her on her own at the Red Tour at the O2 Arena. So the Red era has a special place in my heart. Um, this is the back cover. Um, there you go. And honestly, as much as I love the original version of Red Cover, I think this cover tops it for me. But yeah, there are four LP inside. Now, I just have the one pressing of this. There are two versions. There is a normal black pressing and then the Target Red. I would quite like the Target Red simply because the Target Red actually matches with Red, the album, whereas the Red doesn't match with Taylor's other albums. So maybe one day I'll get it. Um, when I was in America recently, they had it there and I was so tempted, but I was also like, this would be too heavy to put in a case because it is 4LP. So I've just got this black pressing. And with the Target Reds, they never release them in the UK, but with the other Target colour variants, they do. So you've just got this. The inner bits are different on each one. Uh, we didn't get much of a photo shoot for this. As I said earlier, we got like a mix of it. So it was a mix of tour photos and then photos from this new red um, photo shoot, which was kind of done at the same time as... So we got kind of a few photos from this. Uh, we got a lot of tour photographs, which I love because I went to the red tour, but we got some photos which were done at the same time as the Evermore photo shoot. What I also really love about this is when we have the lyrics on this, it says red and the red is red, which I really like. Um, so there you go. And then when red is mentioned in All Too Well as well, it also is in red. But I really love this. I think the pictures are okay. Obviously, I do prefer it when it's got a full image of Taylor here and then lyrics on one side. So you've still got the lyrics, but you've also got that full version of Taylor. Now, my personal favourite of the vinyl that Taylor has done is Midnight's because it actually had a lyric booklet in it, whereas most vinyls don't have that. Um, but I do like that because then you can have these and they can be fully um, just pictures of Taylor, which I really like. Um, so yeah, it's just the normal black pressing. There you go. And lots of tour photographs on that. But it is really, really gorgeous. I do love this vinyl and it will always have a special place in my heart because it was the first vinyl I ever purchased. And that is Red Taylor's version. And it's the only one I've got for Red. Uh, again, I love Red so much, but I just, I don't have the Target version because obviously I don't live in the US. Like you can get it. There are ways to get it in the UK, um, but it's just a bit, it, it's expensive for what you like because it's already an expensive vinyl. So to be, to get it in the UK is extra expensive, but I do really like it. So one day I will get that Red version. One day, not today, but one day. And this is just the gorgeous Red one. So yeah, only one, but I do still love the Red era with my whole entire heart. And next up we have the 1989 era. And there are a few more. And then next up we have 1989. The 1989 Taylor's version is the most recent album that Taylor has released at the time of recording this. Now I do have the stolen version and I bought this before 1989 Taylor's... Before 1989 Taylor's version came out. There you go. So this is the stolen version of 1989. Um, there we go. 
really like this. So the inner bit, this bit, the gatefold, it's more like just the lyric booklet reformatted, but it is definitely quite a nice vinyl. I do like it. And like with Speak Now, there was no deluxe version of this ever released. It was just the this pressing. In terms of on vinyl, there was on CD. Now, with the other stolen versions, you are getting this. You are just getting like a very, very basic like paper thing. Um, and this one, again, it does have that like plastic film in it. So this is what it looks like. It is just the black pressing, but I do really like her. There is also another pressing of this and I want it so bad. It is the pink record store day one. It's the nicest vinyl I think I've ever seen ever, but unfortunately it just goes for so much. I wish I collected vinyl at the time. I really do uh, because it is like the nicest thing ever. It's so gorgeous, but unfortunately it goes for like a lot of money. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll find one really, really cheap. But unfortunately, I've not managed to yet, but hopefully one day. So yeah, this is the stolen version of 1989, and let's go look at Taylor's version. So I currently own all of the available pressings of Taylor's version on vinyl, and I have done a full video unboxing them, if you want to check that out. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to start off with this one. I'm going to start off with the generic ones. So here we go. This is the gorgeous generic cover of 1989 Taylor's version. Let me open it up. It is like a film reel inside rather than like Polaroids like the original, but I think the photos are so good. And this is Taylor's fourth Taylor's version to be released. You can tell that this one had the most effort put into them, but I imagine with these last two, Reputation and Debut, that more even more effort will be put in. But I really love this. I just think it's so gorgeous. And on the back, all of the photos are different. And as you can see, there was a one there. Obviously, it makes a 1989. I think once she did that once with Midnight, she was like, yeah, this works this works and people like me who collect Taylor's with vinyl absolutely love it obviously for some people they, they personally don't collect Taylor's with vinyl and stuff or they only want one of them and that's completely okay I personally just collect them all because uh, it's what I like to do I like collecting um so this is the gorgeous crystal skies so I really like this I think all of these are opaque um but I personally really really love them uh, they're all like this nice pastel -y color I think just really gorgeous. I think they really sum up 1989 Taylor's version so well. And what I love about this, especially for variant collectors, is that every part of this is different. So the front bit's different, the back bit's different, the gatefold's different, and you know what else is different? These that hold the vinyl in. Now often these will be the same in different variants, but it is different and I love that. Um, compared to Speak Now Taylor's version, they were quite similar. Even with the cover, the cover was even the same. But with this, every part of it is different. And that is why I love United States and Taylor's version on vinyl so much. So this is Crystal Skies. This is the normal pressing that you're going to get. Next up, we have the Tangerine pressing. Now, this is the exact same cover. So unlike the rest of them, they've got different covers. This has the exact same one. So you can see on the back, it's also the same as well. Personally, I would have liked it. And I think I said this with Midnight's, if there was just a version that had the full 1989 on the back and then a different cover, it would have been quite nice. So then people could just collect one and then have kind of like a complete one. This is slightly different to the clock though. I think it's not as like obvious that it's only part of a part of something. Whereas with the clock, I think it was very ob obvious. It was only part of a clock. But this is what it looks like. You can see the same photos inside of this one just because it is kind of the same pressing. But obviously the pressing of the vinyl is different. So here we go. This is actually my least favourite of all of the 989 Taylor's version pressings. Um, now mine isn't marbled. Some people do have a marbled one that is really gorgeous. But my one is just like an opaque one. I think the marble ones were made in France. Um, but yeah, some of them are marbled, some of them aren't. It just kind of depends whether or not you get lucky. You can't specifically get the marble one right now. But there you go. This is the tangerine version. Next up, Sunrise Boulevard Yellow. So this, as you can see, it is different inside. The different photos. I absolutely love that. Um, yeah, really like this. And then the back cover is different and we've got a nine. Um, now, this pressing I describe as looking like um, a foam banana in terms of colour. Um, but you can see we've got different photos there. But let me show you this. Are you telling me that is not a foam banana colour? That is a foam banana colour. Um, so there we go. If you don't know what foam bananas are, they're like sweets that are like kind of foamy and they're in the shape and taste like kind of like banana. <laughs> but there you go. That is the gorgeous Sunrise Boulevard yellow vinyl. I really like this. It is really gorgeous. Um, also, for anyone curious, the inner bit is the same as what's on the CD. Uh, the only difference is that on each side, so this is side one on disc like A, it has one seagull on and then on and then on side b just one side b it's got two seagulls on so like depending on which side it is it's got different amount of seagulls so you can tell and i i really like that but other than that it is the same um, in a bit and it's the same color as the cd 
anyone who is curious. Now, the only thing I don't like about 1989 Taylor's version is the back cover. It's not the entire back cover, it's literally just the track list. I think it's quite difficult to read. Um, I think, I do like that it's Taylor's handwriting, but yeah, I do think it's a little bit difficult to read. I think because it's quite close together, it's all at the top. But that's just my personal opinion. Some people might like it, but personally for me, I find it difficult to read. Next up, the Aquamarine Green. So I really like this pressing. I think this is one of the underappreciated ones. When the ooh, when the vinyl first got released, um, I think this is the one that stayed in stock for like the longest, uh, which is so sad because she is really, really nice. Uh, I love this photo so much. I love all the 989 Taylor's version photo shoot photos. I think they are really great. Now this. There you go. Really nice colour to be honest. I think very underappreciated. Really like this one. And then you can see that four seagulls there because that is disc two side B. I love that. And then disc two side A has the three seagulls on. I just, little things like that I really love about vinyl. So let's pop you back in there. She's so gorgeous. But yeah, I've done a full video on these if you want to check that out. Um, I am just kind of trying to go through them quite quickly today so I can get all of these vinyl in and the video is not like three hours long. <laughs> Uh, so we'll pop you back in there. That is the aquamarine green. You know I had to save it till last. You know I had to do it. This is the rose garden pink. I love pink. Pink is my favourite colour. Uh, so I love this so much. You've got these different photographs here. Really nice. The back cover and then the vinyl itself is so beautiful. So you've got different photos again. I love it so much. And then this. It's like a dusty pink. It's so nice. Like this colour oh it's beautiful it's this gorgeous dusty pink color i think it's the nicest taylor color on vinyl in my opinion but yeah i really love it it's so nice i just i love pink taylor should release more pink things i'm a firm believer in that pink is the coolest color <laughs> there you go so that is 989 taylor's version and that is all of the vinyl of 989 that i own stuff is reputation taylor's version so at the time of recording no, it's not. Next up is Reputation. This is the stolen version. This is not Taylor's version. At the time of recording, we do not have a Taylor's version of this, but I imagine we will do soon. Um, so this is Reputation. We love her so much. So this originally came out in 2017, and I believe vinyl was starting to get more popular again. It was kind of gaining popularity. And I think that's why a lot of effort was put into this compared to the other stolen versions. So with the other stolen versions, there tends to be just kind of like the lyric booklet reformatted for a vinyl gatefold and then the vinyl are all black. Whereas with this, obviously it's got two gorgeous photos of Taylor. I just think it is very much made for vinyl. And then inside this is what the vinyl are actually like. So you've got this newspaper style sleeves for the vinyl and then the vinyl itself are picture discs. So this is what it's like. Now picture discs are quite controversial in the vinyl community because sometimes they don't play as well. Sometimes people just don't like them. Now personally, I think the picture is very well pressed onto this. It doesn't look like it's like just stuck on it. It is very much part of the vinyl itself. And I've not had any issues personally playing this vinyl. Um, so I personally really like it, but I do understand that some people don't. Um, and then on each side, you do have different ones. So I'm just gonna show you all these. And this is the main pressing of Reputation out there. The only other pressing is a record store day one. I think it's a Black Friday record store day and it's like a transparent orange. Now, personally, I don't think that fits the Reputation era at all. So I think that's one of the rare record store day ones that I'm glad I just have the normal pressing of it because I think this normal pressing really sums up Reputation very well. Uh, but yeah, that is just Reputation. And hopefully we will get a few variants of Reputation Taylor's version to add to this collection because I'm sad I only have one version of this. Next up, we have Lover. And this is the only version of Lover, the actual album that is available on vinyl so it's the pink and blue pressing really nice i love that the gate fold it's like very much made for vinyl i really love this this was originally released in 2019 um there we go so this has two different color vinyl inside it's got this blue transparent one which is really really gorgeous and it has a slight marbling to it but not too much and then i will show you the next one now the next one is my favorite personally because i am a pink girl and it has a pink one in and this was the first pink vinyl I owned so I was like yes um so really love this it is a gorgeous pink it is different to the pink that is in 1989 it's got a slight marbling to it really gorgeous it's more of like an orangey tinted pink whereas the one that's in 1989 is more of a dusty pink in my opinion but I'm also not great with colors uh, but yeah this is what it looks like really love this the inner bits 
are just kind of like the lover clouds as well and they vary slightly on each side too and I just I really love this I think it's nice that there's two different colors inside so it's not like she released one that was a transparent blue and one that was a pink I like the fact that there were two different ones inside I think that's nicer to have it and then people who don't want to collect multiple different versions can still experience both colors and then I feel very lucky to own this. I feel very, very lucky to own this. This is Love Alive from Paris, the heart-shaped vinyl. It is absolutely stunning. I, a lot of people ask me how I got this and basically I was just on the Taylor Swift store at the time because she has done Valentine's Day releases in the past. So I was just on the store because there was rumors of a Valentine's Day release coming out and I was just lucky that I managed to get it before it sold out. So here you go. Now, a lot of people have questions. How on earth does this play? It's not circular. And I don't know how well you can see but you can see there's a circular section in the middle of it and that is what plays. So these bits on the outside you can actually touch because there is no like, nothing can play on this section. It's not a playable bit. These are just extra bit of material essentially. It's only that inner bit that actually plays. So it is more like a seven inch and then it's just got these extra bits to make the heart. But there you go. She is so gorgeous. And do not panic, I will be getting different sleeves for these. I just have it in this one at the moment because I want to get a like custom one made because I personally don't like it when they're in these plastic sleeves. I really like having like an actual cover one. So you can get custom ones made of this. I've seen people do it on Etsy, which is what I'm going to do um, so I can store them better. And then also get like protective vinyl sleeve as well because uh, this one does go for a lot in terms of resale. I'm not reselling this, people all the time ask me to buy this, no. Um, I bought this because I love it. I don't buy my Taylor Swift vinyl to resell them. I buy them because I like them. Um, so yeah, really love this. She's so gorgeous. I feel very, very lucky that I own this and it's just so pretty, uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this one does resell for a lot of money. It's not available face value at the moment. Now, personally, what I do is wait. Um, so sometimes in terms of like Black Friday sales, or like Valentine's Day again, they might re-release this. Now I'm not saying they will re-release this, but they might do. So I would definitely wait before spending like 600 quid on it because it's gorgeous, but is it 600 quid gorgeous? Gorgeous, I don't know. Also for anyone curious, this one was made in the Czech Republic. Getting close to the end. We are getting close to the end. So here we have folklore and these are the variants of folklore I have. Now there are eight pressings of the folklore vinyl. I only have two of them. Um, I am looking for them online, but they can go for like about 150, which is quite a lot for one vinyl. This is the generic pressing this is the in the trees pressing i really love this she is so pretty i would like more of these because there are so many out there you know eight but i do really like this one and there you go so this one i think i got it for christmas but you can get it from most vinyl uh, sellers and it is this one you can get for face value as well because it is being sold currently now sometimes especially on the us store the other vinyl do come back in stock randomly so do just keep having a look back on the us store or just have a look around at vinyl like sellers and stuff because sometimes these other variants will come back for a reasonable price um, and that is what happened with my next one. So this is the Meet Me Behind the Mall version and there were two versions of this. So there's the Target version and then there's this grey marbled version. So I actually got this from the US store. I don't know why I was able to get, buy it from the US store because usually on the US store you can only, you can't ship vinyls to the UK but it let me so I'm not going to complain um, and it came and it was fine. So this is what it looks like inside and this is the grey pressing not the Target red one and this was just in stock. Um, so I didn't have to buy it from a reseller or anything. It was just in stock on the US store. And as I've said, they do come back into stock randomly, especially on like when they do sales on Black Friday and stuff, they will often put the old stock back on that's not sold. So if you do want different variants and stuff, just take a look at the Taylor Swift store. Usually the US store is better stocked as well um, than the UK store. So we've got this and it is this gorgeous gray marbled color. Really like this. Um, yeah, she's really, really nice. I do like her. She is gorgeous. Uh, you can't really see the marbling on this side, but she is really, really pretty. Um, there you go. And that is the Meet Me Behind Me Mall version. But don't worry, I may not own... I only own two of the Folklore actual album, but we do still have two more Folklore vinyl to show you. And both of these are Record Store Day one. So this was my first ever Record Store Day. This was 2022. I queued up from like half five in the morning. I was super tired. I've done a full vlog on it, obviously. And this is it. So it's the seven inch The Lakes vinyl. I am someone who lives near the actual lakes. So I was like, I have to get this. I have to get this. Now there were only 10,000 of these worldwide. Some Record Stores only got one or two in. I think mine, was quite lucky because we got about 10 in so I managed to get it and I feel very lucky that I've got this because it is so pretty now I've never actually opened it but it is a transparent vinyl some people got it completely transparent whereas some people had little gold dust flecks in it uh, but mine 
I don't know because it's still sealed but yeah she is really really nice and this is my the last of my seven inch finals of this collection and then we also have the 2023 record store day release so this is the folklore long pond studio sessions one now I do like this but I'm not as big of a fan the fact that it's more of a matte cover um can make it more easy to be damaged and then also it's not a gatefold but it does have this really nice gray color so it definitely fits with the folklore aesthetic which I do really like but I'm not as big of a fan because it isn't a gatefold. I do really like a gatefold. Now, I think there was about 100,000 of these press worldwide. So it is quite a big release, especially for Record Store Day, because Record Store Day releases tend to be obviously a lot less, whereas this had 100,000. So there were a lot of copies at each record store, which was really, really great. Now, I've just got the one pressing of Evermore, but that doesn't mean I don't love Evermore. I love Evermore so much. Evermore is very underappreciated. So there are three kind of pressings of this available, I do believe. There is an opaque green, a transparent green, and then the target red. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inner bit. But with all of these, they all have the exact same cover compared to Folklore, which has different covers. Now I have the opaque one. I got this from the UK store for anyone who is curious. That is why mine is opaque. I think in the US it tends to be transparent, but I could be wrong there. Um, it really just depends on where the vinyl is pressed. But it is this gorgeous opaque green colour. I really like it. I wish Evermore was more appreciated. I wish she had more variants. There is also then the Target Red as well, but I don't have that. And personally, I'm not a big fan of the Target Reds because I don't think it fits with this album. The only one it really fits with is obviously Red. But I do wish that Taylor had released like Red, kind of like she did with Speak Now, different shades of Red would have been really nice for Red. But that's just my personal opinion. We have done it. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the last album, the last era, and this is the Midnight Era. So I have all but one of the pressings of this, and the reason I don't have the final pressing, I will explain to you. So first up, let's go with the Boomstone Blue. She is the normal pressing of Midnight's that you'll see. Uh, this is the cover that you're gonna see online on Spotify, Apple Music, and it is that first section of the clock. Now the Midnight's vinyl, when you put them all together, it makes a clock. If you were on the US store, they also had an actual clock that you could get to put in the middle on like a frame, and it made a clock. Unfortunately, they never released that on the UK store, so I didn't manage to get it, even though I have the rest of the components of the clock. I don't have the physical clock feature. <laughs> but there you go, that is the Moonstone Blue pressing. Let me show you the actual disc inside. What I love about this is that there's so many photos, so all the photos inside are different. Um, this is a transparent blue colour and it has got an ever slight bit of marbling to it. But as you can see with marbling, some people get really, really gorgeous variants, get like really nice marbling all over, whereas some people just get the teeniest, tiniest bit of marbling. And that is the excitement of vinyl collecting. Next up, we have the lavender version. So this is why I don't own all the versions. Now the lavender version has two different versions of it. And unlike with Evermore, where it's just marketed as this one version, they marketed it as another version. So people started to notice that when they bought the lavender version of Midnight, which is the target pressing, that they got a darker purple. Um, and obviously Taylor Swift store got hold of this and they renamed it the Love Potion variant, but it is literally the exact same vinyl. In fact, it has the exact same barcode on it and they stuck a new barcode on it. So it is the exact same vinyl, but it was pressed elsewhere. So it's got a slightly different cover to it. Now, because this is the target pressing, it is the same pretty much. The only difference is the actual pressing of the vinyl, but this is probably my favorite of the Midnight's pressing. It's this gorgeous marbled purple. She's more of an opaque, but she is absolutely stunning. And I definitely prefer opaque vinyls, I think overall, compared to transparent vinyls. I just think the opaque ones look nicer to me. Uh, yeah, this is the absolutely stunning um, lavender version. But what I do like about the lavender version, compared to the Speak Now one which I have, which is the Target pressing, this has a slightly different cover to it. And same with Nice Dying, that has the same cover, but this one has a different cover because it's the lavender version. It's got lavender there. This has more of a lavender tint to it, the photo. The text is in lavender and on the back the numbers are in lavender. Um, if you want to see the difference, which I do like because it is then slightly different. You can see like the difference in colour as well. Like it's got more of a lavender tint uh, or a lavender haze to it, uh, which I do really like because it just makes it slightly different, which I think is better. Next up, this is my least favourite Taylor vinyl. I think I say this whenever I talk about Taylor vinyl. This one is the reason I make vinyl video. This one is the reason you should not trust the images on Taylor Swift's online store. It was marketed as this gorgeous deep mahogany colour. It's not. Um, obviously I am joking and stuff, I still really like it and if this was the only pressing I would still like it, but I hate this vinyl. So the pictures, everything's so nice. What a gorgeous pictures of Taylor. What a gorgeous picture. Murky water, very murky water. So it's transparent, it's not, 
It's not a deep marble colour. I don't really have the best marbling. It's not this mahogany colour. The marbling's not great. I... It's my least favourite vinyl. It's my least favourite vinyl. Uh, and whenever I talk about Tales of Vinyl and I say which is the least one, it's this one. I'm sorry, mahogany. I'm sorry. I just... I am a hater. I'm not often a hater, but for the mahogany vinyl, I am a hater. She is my least favourite. I love everything about her apart from the actual pressing. But yeah, this is the mahogany version. Um, but yeah, I am a hater. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I try not to be negative, but that is the only one I have to be negative with. Next up, and la second to last, uh, we've got the Blood Moon version. Really like this. Another gorgeous picture of Taylor where the picture spreads across the gatefold, which I like. And also what I like about these as well, and uh, what is one of my favourite parts of the Midnight's pressings, are that it's got a lyric booklet in. So usually Taylor Swift vinyl and most vinyl do not have a lyric booklet in. This one does, which means the actual slip that holds the vinyl, the sleeve that holds the vinyl, can just have pictures of Taylor on because it doesn't need those lyrics and like um, copyright thingies on it. But, oh, she's so pretty. She's really, really nice. And this is a gorgeous orange one. Now this is transparent, but she's still nice because she's got different like marbled, lovely colours. She's just so much nicer. Now she didn't look exactly like she did on the website, but what she did look is good. Mahogany can't relate. Mahogany can't relate, everybody. Okay, last but not least, last but not least, we have the Jay Green version. I love this version so much. Um, she is gorgeous. This is the one that people absolutely loved because I think just the aesthetic, the Jay Green is such like a popular colour. Um, it's got this great picture of Taylor inside. We've got this section of the clock on the back and then the vinyl itself is stunning really like this again a marbled a transparency one slightly less transparent than the mahogany one but it is still really really nice i really love this so much also i don't think i mentioned but the inner bit of all of these vinyl also make a clock which i really like um and also this is the signed version so before taylor released midnight she released signed versions of these and i managed to get one of them and i got this one so i got the signed in terms of the vinyl i got one but with the cd i managed to get all um which is great but in the vinyl I got one and I got this and it's so cute because it's got a heart so there we go um that is my entire Taylor Swift vinyl collection um I hope you've enjoyed this video that was a lot of talking from me and a lot of showing you things if there are any questions you have please just let me know in the comments and stuff I'm more than happy to answer any of them this collection I have bought over many years and stuff and I make videos and stuff about them so I can kind of justify the cost but yeah I do hope it's um been interesting people have asked for, to see an updated one this is an updated one. So yeah, I hope you've liked it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any other suggestions for Taylor Swift videos or other YouTube videos, TikTok videos, anything, please put them in the comments. That'd be absolutely fantastic. And yeah, I just hope you really like this. And if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe. That'd be so, so cool. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, have a great day.